Hey, good people. Welcome back to <laughs> Welcome back to Beauty and the Friends. I'm laughing because y'all already know what this is about. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another day of Friends, Miss y'all doing the damn thing because this is not easy but i have been looking so forward to talking about what i think are the worst releases of 2022 i of course i'm going to be doing this with my friend my good good friend ashley from dr ash and her makeup we did this last year and then tomorrow we're going to talk about our best releases we're i think supposed to be limiting it to five we shall see. Now, today is Sunday, so y'all already know it's mimosas and makeup. I ran out of mimosas. <laughs> I ran out. So, I have my Sutter Home Sweet Red. It's always a go-to with just a little dab of pineapple rum. Not driving anywhere, not going anywhere. I am gonna be talking about these releases and I'm really excited. So, if that sounds good to you, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. You know, I want you to come back. <laughs> All right, let's get started. First of all, I hope you all are doing well this Sunday morning or whatever time or day that you are watching this video. I'm filming this and I am still not ready for Christmas, not into it, still ordering things. It's actually December 17th. So this video goes up the next day. So I will be up editing this video. That's just how it is right now. And it can be a very, very stressful time please try to take care of yourself. It is way easier said than done because I can't sit up here and say I'm doing it, but I'm trying. Now, one thing that I just have to share is this lipstick right here, Moxie by Proper Beauty. Just wanted to share that in case you have it because I don't know if Proper Beauty even had a release this year, did they? This is some good lipstick. It smells like shea butter, it's soft. I mean, it's gonna transfer. But this is a great shade. So I just wanted to shed some light on a forgotten favorite. All right, I'm in real form right now. August is sick, Marky's emotional. It's just how it goes these days in the Chambers household. And that's all right, because we are gonna be talking about the worst makeup releases. And you know what's so sad about it? First, I'm supposed to be talking about Dr. Ash though. Let me talk about Dr. Ash and then we'll talk about why it's so sad about the worst makeup releases. If you don't know Ashley from Dr. Ash and her makeup, she and I have become really fast friends, bonded over Pat McGrath. She does amazing eyeshadow looks. She does a lot of tutorials, three looks, one palette. She does the palette rotation videos the way that I do, I that I used to do, because I don't have time to do them anymore. I'm not really wearing eyeshadow to work, so there's that. But she still has those videos, and I really love listening to her talk about eyeshadow and talking to her, whether it's texting or on Marco Polo, because she has been into makeup a lot longer than I have, so she has a lot of the history. And that is one thing that I like. It's probably the teacher in me, the history of all the makeup, the brands, and when things came out, what people were into at the time, the, the trends. I don't know about all of that. I'm learning about all of that. Just like when people say, oh, that's so 90s. I'm like, I don't know what that means. I feel like that means brown. That's, that's what I'm getting. So it, it's things like that that are just coming full circle for me. I can always talk to Ashley about releases. She just knows everything and i love that she's very detailed about formulas Sh she can run it down so yes love her please check out her channel if you haven't already and definitely go check out what she thought were this year's worst releases now the sad thing about all of this is what i was getting ready to get into is that i had no issues coming up with the worst releases but even right now when i'm thinking about the best I am very stumped. I think with makeup releases this year, it was like, let's just put this out and see if people will buy it. And people did. That's how I'm feeling. Last year, around this time, I had a makeup regrets video where I just talked about all the things I was buying, you know, starting a new channel or, you know, just getting into the channel, really getting into a schedule. 
trying to keep up, trying to see what people would want to see, buying color stories that I wasn't into, just falling into the FOMO, all of that stuff. And I think this year, what really tripped people up, didn't trip me up, it was the nostalgia. That is what I feel like a lot of what I think were the worst releases. It, it involves that, that nostalgic feeling where people are gonna say, mm, I remember that, I have to have that. I loved that when I was little. When you were little though, like what are you gonna do with it now, Sesame Street? What are you gonna do with it now? Hip dot, what are we doing? So we're gonna talk about this I don't have any of the releases that I'm gonna talk about. So I feel like the best way to do this is purchase or pass style. And I'm just gonna be, because I didn't pull it all together, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I really didn't have time to pull it all together. I'm just gonna look up these releases on my phone. We're gonna talk about them. Some of them we may have forgotten, but I'm gonna remind you. And we need to think about these for next year when all this foolery starts coming out again that we are not doing it. We're not doing it. You need to leave and not come back. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna scoot over. And, and for real, for real, I really may have to have some honorable mentions because there were a lot of trash releases this year. And one of the things that I was saying in my purchase or passive video from yesterday was, Either these brands have a lot of money and funding and coinage to be able to collab with Sesame Street, Girl Scouts, Cup of Noodles, Velveeta, any type of cheese. Like either you have money or it doesn't cost a lot of money to do these collabs. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's something and it's something that needs to stop. And for these releases, I'm not gonna talk about them in any particular order. They're, they're all equally as bad. That's pretty much the long and short of it. We're gonna go ahead and get on Amazon, okay? Because Oscar Mayer decided that they needed to come out with a baloney hydrogel sheet face mask. I do see that it has five stars and I really could care less because there are lots of brands that have masks and things like this. Beauty inspired by baloney. Now it's a cold cut of self care. Yeah, definitely no. <laughs> do not eat baloney masks. This is what real baloney is for. So it's got witch hazel, collagens, it minimizes fine lines and wrinkles. And the bologna design induces unparalleled serotonin surges and a prolific amount of selfies. That means that was for effect. I hate it. I hated the whole thing. I felt like I don't care how good this mask is. It was just really gimmicky. Like it wasn't by a skincare brand. It was by Oscar Mayer and they have no business coming out the bologna mask. Not made with Korean beauty expert soul mamas. Let's we'll see what this video is. Oh. I just was really disturbed by this. I just remember seeing it and the thing is, is that we had content creators buying it so we didn't have to, you know what I mean? To see what they thought. I didn't watch any reviews on it, but I know people bought it and a lot of people bought it just off of that, which means cash grab because I don't think bologna is like that great for you. So I guess they felt like they needed to do this. And it's still on sale. Let's see the buying options. $29.99. Is it one mask? All of this is a no. It's one mask for $30. Yeah, one. One hydrogel mask. This is the worst. This might be worse than the hip dot stuff I'm gonna talk about. I just think it really plays on people who are like, I used to love bologna sandwiches. Like somebody bought this, people are buying this, it's still on sale. So I'm not gonna keep harping on it. Let's look at some reviews though. Yeah, like people, see, people are using this for gag gifts. Look at these people. Look at these people. Fun masks, but slid off our faces. 
fun as a joke item. Not a $30 joke item. No, it's not. No, ma'am. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to do that to these people. It's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. How about now? This is no for me, Scott. I'm not having it. I'm done. Now, that's all I'm going to say about the baloney mask because I feel like I'm getting it really into it. And y'all are probably like, calm down. Daddy, chill. And I am. Let's move on to number two. Let me check my notes. Okay. Let me find this because... All right, here we go. So here we have Ketchup or Makeup by My Girl Fenty. You need to leave. I was, I was like, okay. Like somebody else has taken over since you're a new mom. I think this was inspired by uh, some other brand or something like that. I don't even care about that. It's just the fact that we thought, you thought, not we, not me, and probably not y'all, thought it was a good idea that we were gonna go ahead and play with people's emotions by selling ketchup packets that would either contain ketchup or makeup, lip gloss. I hated the promo. I hated the idea. I don't think it's fun to spend serious, serious money on this. This is crazy to me. Did you get six packets? And the thing is, is if you do get the gloss, first of all, you don't get the little dofa that goes with it, but then it's like, do you use all of it? Are you able to save it? Like what is really happening here? Yeah. And then look at that, a mask. Like the whole situation was terrible. This French fry was terrible. Never saw this picture and I, terrible. I hated it. I really hated it. I didn't think it was cute. I didn't think it was funny. Like a gag gift, like if you pay $5, that's cute for a gag gift. When you're paying like real money, $25 I think, no thanks no thank you was not into it and was disappointed i was disappointed like one at the time i had no rihanna music you know she did give us a trinket with wakanda forever and that's fine and i know she had a baby and that's fine too but the releases that she's done this year i just feel like eh, like this was terrible this was the worst of them all the worst like the bottom of the barrel worst you need to leave if you have money and you want to do a little gag gift or a little present when your friends come over like let's see if you get the gloss or the ketchup fine i, I it, that friend is not me and i'm not that host so we're gonna move on that's number two hated it definitely disappointed all right i need to calm down okay let's Take a gander at Hip Dot because Hip Dot just has the gamut of the worst releases. I did not even know they did Hello Kitty. So uh, all of this, all of this, this is my next release is. You need to leave. Okay, let me calm down because with this is what I'm talking about with playing on the nostalgia and see. I was caught in that for longer than I needed to be. Tinkerbell, Sesame Street, Nightmare Before Christmas, Sailor Moon. I mean, I was in it. I was in it like, oh my gosh, Frosted Flakes. I didn't get that, but I was like, oh my gosh, like I used to eat that. I can go ahead and be okay with having those memories instead of buying the makeup that I know I'm not going to use. Like it, this is, just ridiculous. So let's let's go ahead and look at these icons. So Hip Dot has these, you know what they remind me of? They remind me of bath crayons that come in those bubble things that you get out the 25 cent machine. That's what it reminds me of. I hate it and I'm not into it. Now I understand that, and I, I have not seen a review, Let's see if they have any on their their site. So these Hello Kitties are new, I think. Oh my gosh, at least these look like Hello Kitty because did y'all see the Care Bear ones looking like Scare Bears? Cause those are the first ones I saw and I was like, absolutely not. These Hello Kitty ones actually look cute, but I'm not doing it. And the shadows look nice. 
But what am I doing? Am I rubbing them? Am I taking a brush and putting them on? Am I using my finger? I don't know, nor do I care. Not getting these. I want y'all to see the um, Scare Bears because that's what they were. Almost typed in Scare Bears. First of all, they look scary because they can't do the eyeballs right. So now they look like alien Care Bears that I'm not into, zombie bears. And this is... <sighs> And the thing is, is like, I loved the Care Bears. People used to call me Care Bears, make me mad. That's a whole side point. I really love the Care Bears, but did we have to do it in this way? This hasn't been the only Care Bears collab. I think Violet Voss did one. These just little figurines just are not grabbing my attention or my money. I think they did SpongeBob. I might've made that up. I know they did, like we, we just saw Hello Kitty, Sesame Street. And they keep going and they, they have to keep going because there's an audience. I just think I've moved past that audience. I would be in that audience maybe if I was 10 or something like that. The problem is, is that these aren't audience prices. These are prices for adults. They are not prices for kids. So it appeals to kids, but not kid prices. So kids aren't buying this. Collectors are buying this, people that are being like, oh my gosh, pulled by the nostalgia are buying this. And it is robbery. So that's why we have to make better choices because this is a mess. I'm so sorry. I'm not taking a Care Bear stare, eyeshadow. I'm just not, I'm just not doing it. You're talking about the collection is $56 for these four shades? No thanks, no ma'am. It's a no for me and it makes me upset. I, at this point, don't know what number I'm on because I'm going to continue with Hip Dot. I'm gonna continue. And I'm sorry that I'm laying into this because first of all, I didn't even realize that it's cup noodles and not cup of noodles. First of all, I feel like this is their second collection. The collector's box, y'all, is sold out. It's sold out. This makes me concerned. You got these chopsticks here. I mean, this is a warm neutral palette. I have this, vegan and clean. So that's sold out. I mean, the swatches are nice. And then you have, what are these glosses? You got cup of noodles, lip glosses. Oh my God, I just thought about another release. I forgot about, oh my gosh. Y'all, I can't even keep count. I just have to talk about them all. This is a no, I absolutely hate it. Hate it. I hate the Sesame Street too. I wasn't even gonna put this in the video i just wasn't because that's very new and i did make my list before the sesame street came out but i hate this too with a black hate like what are we doing who is this marketing to these chunky glitters and if those lashes are supposed to be like snuffleupagus lashes they're not big enough so if you're gonna do it just just do it like, I want to look like Snuffleupagus if those are the lashes and, and those aren't doing it for me. So no. I think that's it from Hip Dot. I am going to lay off of them. I'm going to lay off. I don't think the Girl Scouts was bad, but I didn't get the Thin Mints collection. That's a no. It's a no. So what do we talk about so far? Because I need to keep myself uh, on track. The We talked about the bologna, ketchup makeup, Hip Dot. Let's just go ahead and keep them as one, even though it was two. Cause I got more y'all, I have more. Cause I was real mad about this. So let's see. Oh my God, there's so many bad, here it is. Okay, let's, let's, let's do it. Now these are the stickers. So Nails Ink and Velveeta. So these, first of all, these are the stickers. Strike one, two, and three. Four stickers, drip and creamy. So I'm gonna put that on my nails with the pasta. No thanks. Daddy chill. Let me get off here and let's go here to Walmart. Okay, Walmart, come on now, come on. Nails Ink and Velveeta Cheese Scented Nail Polish Duo. Includes La Dolce Velveeta Yellow and Finger Food Red Nail Colors. So you think that I wanna paint my nails, first of all, which doesn't happen much, Takes a long time. I gotta let these things dry. I'm trying to run around and do mom life stuff. Also that my nails can smell like cheese. You need to leave. I need them to help me help myself understand 
why this was a good idea. So I love Pirate's Booty, right? With the extra cheese. The way my fingers smell after eating Pirate's Booty, I have to wash my hands. I love the taste, it's great. I don't want my nails or my body to smell like that extra Pirate's Booty. I don't want it to smell like cheddar, Parmesan, nothing. I don't understand why this was a good idea. And the fact that you can still buy, you talking about $40? $40 if you've ever watched Baby Boy. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is terrible. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Talk about some highly pigmented. I can't. Am I on number four already? Because I, y'all, I can go. Y'all know I can go. We gotta move on because I'm just getting upset. Like that people think it's okay. But you know what? They think it's okay because we buy it. And that's the thing. I think that if we want the makeup industry to stop with the foolery, then we have to stop with the foolery. We have to stop. We have to be like, nope, so sorry. I don't want Fruit Loops eyeshadow. I'm good. You know what I mean? It's okay to be like, you know what? I really used to like the Care Bears, but I don't really like Care Bears eyeshadow. Like, it's okay to not participate in that. And I think sometimes it's really tough. I know it's tough for me, but I, I I have been able to resist like the Dr. Seuss collections and the Frosted Flakes, you know? It's like, wow. But then it's like, no. Like, am I really gonna be like, and now I'm wearing the Frosted Flakes lipstick. Like, it's so good. I don't see myself saying that. So, no, no. When I was younger, oh my gosh, so it, was, it used to be a convenience store called Highs, and they had soda flavored gum. But when you bit into the gum, this little syrupy stuff came out, which is really nasty. It reminds me of the liquid lollipops I was talking about in one of the videos. I used to love the Dr. Pepper one. I just wanted to share that. Because the thing is, it's like, we can keep going on and on and on. You know what I mean? Just off of like, oh my gosh, people are going to love this. This was a classic or this was a classic time. But it just doesn't mean that we need everything with that theme. We don't need makeup with themes from every single movie. We don't need perfume with themes from every movie. Like, you know, like Hasa Siyash just came out with the Avatar one. So it's like, I, I see why brands do it because there's money to be made, but there's money to be made because we're buying into it and it's a mess sometimes. I am curious about that um, fragrance, but see, I can't blind buy that. You know what I mean? It was the same thing with the House of Siage Batman Gotham one. I got the sample and I was like, oh, that's an absolute no. Cause I would have been uh, heated, okay? If I had bought that big cupcake with that Batman scent because it, it wasn't super great. So, you know what I mean? But like, there are people that are collectors. Like if you look at the Pat McGrath and Star Wars, and Pat McGrath hasn't had anything sell out in a hot minute. Quince sold out, the little bundle with all the Quince, that's gone. The Chroma Lux is gone. So, you know, people put out what we tolerate and if we stop, it will stop. However, I can't compare Star Wars to Velveeta. I, I just can't do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. So let's move on. I, I've got more for you guys, got more. I actually have something that's not on my notes sheet that I just remembered. Nope, this was a no, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here it is, the Saucy Gloss. You need to leave. Nope, don't want 15% off because of this. Winky Lux decided it was gonna be a great idea to come up with some Saucy Gloss that was inspired by Applebee's wings. Swipe these on and everyone will want to taste your face. This is a no. Not with the wings. Not with the gloss sitting on the wings. I am a wings lover. I love buffalo wings. I really love buffalo wings. I love the boneless ones. I love the ones with bones. I, I don't care how good this lip gloss is. There's just nothing about it. I didn't realize that this was barbecue scented. This is, and they're sold out or they're all gone. We had Sweet Chili Kiss, Be My Honey Pepper, and then Honey Barbecue Tea. Oh, and Get Me Hot Buffalo, so there's four. So we want scented, you know what? 
if I just eat buffalo wings, if they're the saucy ones, you're gonna get that. So I don't need the gloss. I was so annoyed with this. Oh, and I got um, three stars, three stars. I'm not even gonna look at this. I'm not even gonna get into the reviews. I, you know what, yes we are. Let's do it. I don't know, the reviews aren't coming up for me. Well, who cares? Talk about second dates will be highly likely. No, they won't. Craveable lips for saucier makeout sash. I'm tired of people using the word sash. This is ridiculous. I'm so sorry, Winky Lux. This is a no. I don't know if this was an attention getter because this is not like a really popular brand. I don't know what it was. I don't care what it is. I'm just sad that this was a situation. So we're gonna move on. Was that five? I feel like that was five or maybe this was four. So let's see what we talked about because I can't do an all night situation. We did the bologna mask, ketchup makeup. Okay, hip dot icons was kind of a two for one. And now we have the Applebee. So now I have to decide what I wanna talk about. And I, I don't know. I'm gonna tell you the choices. We have the Lime Crime Hair Color, inspired by Sonic the Hedgehog. Urban Decay Mini Naked Palettes. Why did you come out with three of what you've already done? And last but not least, the Cheese Collection by Makeup Revolution. What do we wanna talk about? I think we're gonna go with the cheese. That's what we're gonna do. Because I don't understand why cheese was such a big deal this year. Like, cheese nail polish with the cheese collection. Like, let's go with the cheese. I'm gonna change my battery. So I'm picking the cheese collection because my thing with this is like, it wasn't even like a curated thing like Velveeta or the bologna mask. Like that was one thing. I think what makes the cheese collection the worst is that it was a whole collection. Let me see if I can find it. Let's see. Not this winter is coming. I guess it was I Heart Revolution. Okay, let's... And there's so much. Let's start with the big cheese. Eyeshadow palette. Nope, don't wanna enjoy or join the revolution. I'm good on that. First of all, this packaging does not make me want to use it. I'm not into it. And I love cheese, that's the thing, I love cheese. Ooh, like Oprah. I love bread. Remember when she said that? I feel like that about cheese. This, y'all know that commercial for Oprah and the um, Weight Watchers. Gouda, feta, cheddar, nacho. Why is nacho pink? I've never looked at this. Goat's cheese is not that color. Why is provolone, okay, like, why is string red? Parmesan is blue. I hate it. I hate this. This is terrible, really terrible. Then they had the cheese board mini palette. This looks horrible. Like nobody wants to use this. Nobody. Talking about the mini cheese. No. On top of that, there was a highlighter duo. What's appealing about this to people? Like, please let me know. Let me know. What, and people are giving it, you know, it looks good. Let's see. Say cheese. I've been wanting to try some of the cheese collection and this highlighter is the bomb. I can find another glowy highlighter. This not cheese themed. Here it is, a cheese lover's dream. Cheese board lover's dream. Like this is, I forgot about the mouse sponge. Now you might not know, but I, mice scare me. They scare me. I, I, I can't, I can't, I really cannot. Look at this little cheese thing. That might, okay, sorry. That might be the, oh gosh, okay. That might be the lip balm. This is, horrible y'all this is the worst thing i've ever seen in my life look there it is the i heart revolution cheese board cheese and mouse sponge duo no thanks no thanks i'm good on this this just hideous hideous and the thing is is that you know as a content creator sometimes we because i'll say i've bought things not now not as much now but when I first started, I bought things where I'm like, oh, I think people may want to see this, which is what led to the makeup regrets video because it's like, well, I didn't want to see it. You know what I mean? So there are people that have bought this. I, I, I'm, I am certain, number one, that there are some people that were really into this because they love cheese. 
and that's fine and they love makeup and they felt like it was a good combo and there's no judgment or anything like that I just have a feeling that many of the people that use this especially if you're filming it were purchasing it out of curiosity and I don't have it's one thing if I have money to be curious but I personally don't I have a small channel I, I don't have curious money I'm curious about a lot of things but that's something that I know if I did a video with it I would use it for that video and that was it there's no <laughs> resale value you know if you want to sell it there I mean there's just no point and I just don't have money to waste like that so that's the thing I've I, I'm not mad at these brands for putting out these collabs I just think that there were so many this year. That's kind of what started like the whole makeup releases. I mean, one, I'm always curious about what's going on in the makeup streets, but two, there were just so many things and I was tempted by so many things. I mean, and I'm still tempted by a lot, you know? But I think the nostalgia piece that, that a lot of brands are playing on, I don't think that's cool after a while. And then it's like, a lot of the makeup looks like it's made for children. It doesn't even look like a luxurious cheese collection. It looks like left out cheese. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing if the collection looked like it was upscale, but a lot of these don't. And maybe that's the point to make it look childish, but, and, and don't get me wrong, like, let me explain. Like, I have on a Smokey the Bear t-shirt. Like, I love nostalgic t-shirts, uh, graphic tees, things like that. I love the Magic School Bus. I love the Care Bears. I have a Snow White, uh, let me show you. Like, this is my, Tyrone put this on there, but this is my sticker on my computer. Like, I love Disney. I love all of that stuff, all of it. I'm not gonna sit up here. I have the House of Siage Mickey Mouse fragrance. I am not gonna sit up here and say that nostalgic collabs are bad or they're not worth it or anything like that, but I think it's the, the way that they're done. And I think like Hip Dot is a huge culprit this year. That's all they're doing. There were some candles that came out that were cereal scented. I mean, I'm not saying these things are bad, but what I, I think what I'm saying is like, I have started to shy away from them because it's an easy way, I think, to get people to spend money because they know that people love these things. I'm surprised I haven't seen the Super Mario palette. Like, where's that? I'm waiting on that. Super Mario's coming. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna be all of that. And I, I was a huge fan. It's lazy in a way. And I think that a lot of brands are losing steam and not sure what to do because so much has been done. I don't know if Hip Dot always had that kind of stuff. Actually, someone was telling me that Hip Dot wasn't always like that and not sure about makeup revolution or their umbrella brands because i know they had grinch this year i know they had shrek i mean they did dr seuss but i'm i'm kind of tired i'm i'm really tired now so i'm gonna end this video because i could keep going but those are the releases that stood out to me i think that's everything that I had in my notes. I just want to double check. I had She-Hulk on here too from Urban Decay. I'm actually not too mad about it with She-Hulk. Let me move over. I think with the She-Hulk palette, it was nice to see Urban Decay do something with color. The problem is, is that they had the wrong colors. So this is kind of an honorable mention because you would think that when they did the mini palette, that that mini palette would have been a green monochromatic palette because it's She-Hawk. And then maybe the bigger palette could have been the way that it was. But I was honestly happy to see them, you know, expand and not do naked palettes. For example, the three palettes that they came out with, they were like mini naked palettes that look like they're bigger naked palettes. And I'm like, I guess you're just coming out with something updated because the older ones aren't available anymore. I think that one thing that brands need to consider is coming out with 
quality and not quantity, but I think it's hard because you have brands like ColourPop coming out with collections weekly, sometimes more than one collection a week, and people feel like they need to keep up. But what that's done for me is it's really turned me off. I wasn't totally against Makeup Revolution in the beginning, but what I didn't realize with Makeup Revolution is that they were duping uh, more mainstream brands. Like they had some palettes that looked like the Pat McGrath. They had some palettes that looked just like the Huda Beauty bigger palettes and they were just too close. And I was just kind of like, oh, you know, if I was a brand owner, I don't know if I would really like this. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just had some thoughts about that. And then they have all these umbrella brands, but all these collabs and stuff, they're just really childish. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It just doesn't appeal to me anymore. Glamlight is another brand that was doing a lot of that taco palace and cheeseburger palace. It's like, I don't know if I'm really into the food theme packaging. So I'm so happy to see Glamlight kind of get away from that because Glamlight has really nice products. And I know they did the uh, Frosted Flakes and Scooby-Doo. And I heard all of those things were really great. It's just, they just want color stories or um, items that I needed. I'm just glad they got away from like the food shaped packaging. With all that being said, if you like any of the things that I just slammed, there really is no judgment. I think makeup is such a creative outlet and it's very subjective. So whatever you like is what you like and I'm not hating on it or saying, oh, you shouldn't have bought that. I'm just saying I know what I get caught up in and I know what really pulls at me and a lot of that stuff is the nostalgia stuff. I have my brushes over here from Morphe. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have the Coca-Cola because I remember when I was younger, my aunt bought me this Coca-Cola sweater because Coca-Cola was a big thing at one time. And surprisingly, I do still have those brushes, but I don't have the makeup that came with it. There was a whole palette and highlighters and glosses. I don't have any of that stuff. So I already know those things are not gonna last in my collection, so they're not things I should purchase. And it's just a lesson learned for me. So it's just something I've come to terms with, like Kara, do not get caught up in it. Like if they come out with a Lucky Charms palette, do not do it, do not do it. If they come out with a Pirate's Booty palette, don't, I know you love it. Just eat the pirate's booty, you know what I mean? That's gonna be it for this video, y'all. I'm starting to ramble, but please make sure that you go ahead and check out Dr. Ash over at Dr. Ash and Her Makeup. I cannot wait to see what she has as the worst makeup releases. I think ours are gonna be different. I just feel like there were so many. And make sure that you stay tuned because tomorrow we're gonna talk about the best. I'm actually gonna sit here and think about that right now because honestly, I'm not sure what the best makeup releases were for 2022. If you have some ideas that may help me jog my memory, please throw them out in the comments. I need them. I'm struggling, y'all, I really am. So thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another day of Christmas. I hope this was therapy for you. You know it always is for me. Until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and you know I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Bye.